Hey, Megan Scully, and this is the Limerick Post Show. And joining me now, it is Philippa Donlan. We are going to talk about something very special happening with Dance Limerick. But firstly, how are you? I'm very well. Thank you very much. All the better for being here in a virtual space. So, yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. It's, yeah. Not, it's just it's great to be just, I think, talking about something that's happening and I, an event that's going to be taking place, because I think, you know, for a long time there, you know, we didn't really know what was going on. And I think it, it, it took a while for everyone around the world to adapt to this virtual world and to, to, to kind of get used to it and to come up with new plans and ideas. So I think if one thing that's come out of all this is the, um, the way we've all adapted. Yeah, well, um, I mean, I think the, the idea that, that Dance Limerick is stepping forward, regardless of what we're all going through, I think is really important. And it's like, yes, there is light at the end of the tunnel, um, but also that, you know, it won't stop the arts from from progressing and from different initiatives coming up. And I think in the context of Limerick City, it's great, you know. So I'm delighted to be appointed uh, the new curator of um, DL Bridge. Um, yeah, of course. So. And that's why we're talking today is about DL Bridge. So do tell us about that, Philippa. So DL Bridge is, a, is as I said, it, it's a new initiative that um, Jenny Trainer, who's the director of uh, Dance Limerick and her team have developed. Um, and the idea, and I suppose it's really behind the name itself, is that um, Dance Limerick really is, is one of the uh, key institutions um, within the city. And the idea is, is that they would like to develop a stronger um, kind of dialogue with people and uh, a stronger arts initiative and arts presence in the city. And so they, that's how DL Bridge came about. And as you know, that the name, you know, is kind of synonymous with Limerick, with all its bridges. Um, <laughs> as you can tell, I'm not from Limerick, so it's going to be a new learning curve for me. But, you know, the bridge being very symbolic with Limerick. And so I think the, the reason that it's called that is that the bridge really signifies about crossing with different communities, you know, that Dance Limerick is about linking up with different communities, with different groups, with different organisations in the city. And uh, it's not a one way um, system. So it's a two way. So the idea of bridge is that, you know, that Dance Limerick wants to, in a sense, be connecting with different, uh, different communities, but also for, for communities to connecting back into Dance Limerick. As you probably know, Dance Limerick have a wonderful base with his, uh, an amazing church space. And so it's kind of throwing open the doors, which is probably a really good symbol right now. So that's, um, that's what we're about. So I love the sound. I just love the, the visuals there of bridges because you said it, you know, anytime you think of Limerick or I find if any time, if I was to describe Limerick, you're right, it would be the, the three bridges, but then with a view of the castle in the background as well, because it just, that's what, that's what makes Limerick for me. And I think that's, you know, images we see, see shared a lot from people is, is of, if not one or two, if not three of the bridges. And at the moment, everyone is talking about them because we're all walking them every single day. So I think it's, it's a great idea. <laughs> well, I mean, I think that's the name, the DL Bridge. I mean, um, you know, somehow really connects with the city, you know, that it's, it's not a, although it would be, um, it's very local based in a sense. I mean, it would have a national reach in that we, yes, we would be connecting, we work, will be connecting with national organizations but essentially it's really about that interconnection and I and I think it's not just symbolic of connecting with communities but also connecting with people's ideas you know so how those people themselves and different people who I hope I'm going to meet well I'm sure I'm going to meet you know the kind of um, stories and ideas and um, issues that are topical to those those to to different people. I know that Limerick is, you know, a home to many different uh, communities from different cultures, different experiences, different backgrounds, different ages. So, you know, it's about how we connect and, and how people want to tell their story. And of course, using the art form of dance, which, as you know, Dance Limerick is a real home to creativity to performance and and creating work through dance and so it's really about giving more access to people 
I love so, any of the projects run by Dan Slimmer because everything is always as you just everything you just described there it's exactly what happens and it's amazing the way it brings how dance can bring so many people together because I guess the movement of it as well to look at it and to, as you said bring different cultures different people different ages and it's something that everyone can do and um, so it's just you know it's amazing to, to watch and to be part of and if, if people do want to get involved how can they? Well, they can contact uh, Dance Limerick at www.dancelimerick.ie um, um, or they can just simply pick up the phone. And um, I think this is really a call out to organisations. Um, this is not something that Dance Limerick want to do just on their own this isn't you know we are initiating this but the whole point of dl bridge is that we work in partnership with people and you know working with local organizations who or, or community groups will have a better understanding of you know what's important to them and and actually so it's it's really what we're thinking about and what we aim to do is create those partnerships it can't happen just um, on our own um, so it's really kind of working across the board so this is the call out really it's like you know if you are part of a community group if you are part of a network organization if you are part of a local social organization um, whatever the age or remit or focus of your organization this is the call out to get in touch and and i will come and chat meet you and and see what you're about and 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 what the fit is really you know what's of interest for your community and, and what you would like to do so I just yeah. think it sounds incredible. I think, you know, a lot of people have had a pretty lonely year as well and have been, you know, haven't been maybe seeing and, and meeting with people. This is a great opportunity to reconnect maybe with people you already know, but also yeah. said meet new groups, make new friends, new connections. So when you do go walk of the three bridges, you'll know more people along the route as well. Well, yeah, and also come and dance, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's to kind of cross over into, it, there's, when you would say dance, there's loads of different kinds of dancing and, and movement. And I think particularly, you know, as a form of expression that actually um, you don't necessarily need to, to, to speak, you know, although obviously chatting and speaking is a is a big part of it as well um but you know using dance as, a, as an art form and we're not prescribing what kind of dance that you do in this project i think you know i'm a contemporary dancer my background is in ballet and contemporary dance and a lot of people say well what's what's contemporary dance but actually contemporary dance is an, an amazing art form that really embraces a lot of different uh, styles of dance. And so I think in this project, not only are we connecting with different communities and groups, but also just connecting through different styles of dance um, and indeed different kinds of art forms. So, you know, it's all to play for. So yeah, let's well, see where we go. It sounds absolutely incredible and uh, I look forward to seeing more of it and hearing more of it and of course we'll catch up with you again maybe after a while and see how everyone's getting on and hopefully at some stage we'll be able to come along and be there in real life to watch it all happening. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it'll be a long process and that's uh, that's our aim is that it will grow. And um, so, yeah, here's to Dance Limerick stepping out and across those bridges and uh, meeting up with a lot of different communities around Limerick and beyond. Philip O'Donnell, curator of DL Bridge from Dance Limer. Thank you so much for chatting to us the Limer Post Show. And as I said, I think you've left a lot of food for thought there for so many people. And uh, I think, you know what, getting out and moving and, and meeting and mixing and everything, it's going to be absolutely incredible. Okay, thank you very much, Megan. Yeah, been a pleasure.